damn, this week has to be one of the most insane weeks I think I've ever witnessed in my entire life. Well, actually, that's a lie because I witnessed a bunch of, you know, bunch of what, bunch of weird shit. But that's neither here or there. You know, this troll, this internet. I don't even know what to even call him anymore. This guy who just understands internet and troll culture. Of course, everybody's seen him. He's one of the most controversial streamers that's, you know, hit the platform or is the controversial streamer at the moment. Maybe a lot of people won't you know, accept that kind of phrasing around him, but I would agree to view him in that way. And of course, I'm talking about none other than Aiden Ross. And if you guys don't know, Aiden Ross has been like this 2K, you know, turned into hip hop media, turned into like almost anti everything you can think of. You know, Andrew Tate, you know, he brought on Andrew Tate onto his um, his platform. He's one of those people who first put him on there. Kind of uh, having these manosphere red pill view point of views on life. You guys know him uh, also was banned off Twitch recently, not too long ago. It now is one of the head honcho is that kick apparently you know this time around of course he's back to his antics because obviously he's can't get enough of it he said on one of his streams that he's gonna get the north korean dictator king john un and he was hyping this up for a while now he was going on twitter he was going on all social media platforms trying to hype this up we had a lot to talk about chat so look bro i um i'm getting into the today's stream i i i've so over my team i have to address this chat now yes okay Kim Jong-un is locked in tomorrow's stream at 7.30 Miami time, okay? Seven, okay guys, I'm gonna get to the fight later. Shut the fuck up. The fact that this was even possible and the fact that I don't even know, like, I don't think people are dumb enough to think that there was obviously gonna be some weird fake shit going on with this. Obviously, he was not gonna get the actual dictator on there. There's no possible way that we were gonna fall for that, right? But of course, you know, a lot of people tuned in, was excited for the moment just to see what kind of catastrophe was about to happen with the stream. Of course, Aiden Ross is known to do a lot of like weird trolley bullshit going on with his stream. So in fact, people maybe had an idea of like, hmm, like maybe he will actually have him on there. Of course, not myself. You know, I wouldn't think that a Korean dictator was going to be on a kick platform. Like I, I would not even understand how that would even be any form of media or publicity or how that even would be relevant to the moment so just gotta see this like car crash happening everybody tuned in so 300,000 plus viewers went to the kick platform just to check out what was going on with Aiden Ross Hello? I gotta say, number one thing, I don't know as a platform that it's a good idea to really be promoting a Korean dictator, Kim Jong-un, who has, you know, we've seen the girl who had escaped from Korea and kind of the horror story she went through on the Joe Rogan podcast. If you guys want to go listen to that, what she had to go do and the things that she had to do just to even get out of there and the sacrifices she made. Like, I don't understand why somebody would even platform that. I wouldn't even understand how Kick would even allow this kind of media to be surrounded by them. I guess any media is good media, even if it's a bad media. So I guess it's one of those moments where they really don't care. I See, this is the thing with Kick. I really feel like it's not going to help them in the end of it because you're publicizing something that is obviously bad for the moment. I get that people have their own ideologies and people have their own views on life and whatever the, it is. Like, I just think that when you're blatantly somebody who's negative to the world, then I don't understand how you would allow something like this to even happen. Even if it was fake, allow them to put them or platform them in any kind of way or even use their image in such a promot promotional way. It's just weird and cries like to me almost like attention seeking. I just don't understand what Aiden Ross I get pushing the boundaries, but really you're gonna be pushing the boundaries in this way. I feel like there's other ways that you can push your boundaries by creating better content, creating better things that people can consume. Just being something else than besides this, you know, he's not known for someone who is like political or has like a political agenda, but reality is it's just like, you know, we're gonna do anything for the clicks and 
obviously many people tuned in at that time 300,000 plus so obviously some people were interested in what was going on but I feel like the majority of people just really wanted to see the, you know this car crash happening I feel like if I was kicked I would kind of be kicking myself in the ass right now for even allowing this to happen you know this is not any good promotion for yourself and in the future hopefully they end up doing something about that you don't want to make your platform such a wild wild west it could be you know a different thing than what twitch is i get that you can kind of create a foundation that is not a copy and paste of what twitch is but have your own rules and set boundaries and stuff but if we're just blatantly being like this weird i don't know attention seeking type of um content that's just like what i don't understand what your 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 goal is here and i would be interested to find out what exactly they would want to be doing or how did they find this to be a good idea at all especially since you know he's known to be like this korean dictator that did horrible things and continue to do horrible things and i get it you know at the end of the day it, the guy was an impersonator but even at that like i just don't understand how that would even be something that's acceptable for the platform to happen you know and um this is where kind of twitch guidelines are coming in to play here and i can see why they have the guidelines they did do I'm not saying that i agree fully with how they perceive a lot of their actions or a lot of their things that they decide to do on the platform but what i'm saying is that they do have some sort of level of boundaries and they do have some sort of level of barriers that you have to go through in order to get like your content out of there and obviously use some prerequisites so these uh, stuff doesn't happen I mean, when the moment that Aiden Ross released that like first initial wave of like a uh, promotion for this event, um, I'm sure Twitch would have been on their ass immediately and called him and be like, you cannot do this. But, you know, kick being kick and, you know, they got to make their name for themselves at this moment. And they, I got to say, um, not to be bagging on them too much because kick has made a sort of name of themselves and being the alternative platform instead of, you know, being at Twitch. I understand that, you know, it's not trying to be that and it's also trying to be its end its own independent thing. But Jesus, bro, this is not a way you do this, man. And um, I got to be really disappointed in Aiden Ross. I get the whole Andrew Tateism and kind of having the red pill point of view. You know, a lot of conservative people kind of view life in that sort of way. I get that. Not that I agree with the misogyny that's like kind of ingrained into that whole environment. But what I'm saying is that like I, I even that's kind of even bad because, you know, Andrew Tate and his brother are kind of accused of or have been convicted of being, you know, uh, sex traffickers. So I just don't understand what the goal is here or what Adrian Ross was thinking. I just think Aaron Ross may sometimes be seeking attention in the wrong places. And this is kind of how he does it. And also kind of his points of view align with him. And sometimes maybe the, maybe his point of view is not to the extreme of that. But it he doesn't care if it reaches to that because it's still, you know, close to whatever his actual beliefs are. And um, it just ends up doing things like this. And I just don't understand what will compel somebody to do something like that. And of course, speaking about Andrew Tate, he ends up showing up later down the road on the stream. Uh, I think Aiden has, you know, invited him to see what's going on. And of course, Andrew Tate with a cigar, you would never miss him without a cigar. They just go at it, man. They go at it. So of course you have Kim Jong-un impersonator and you got Andrew Tate, you know, convicted or alleged sex trafficker. And then you got one of the most controversial uh, streamers in the time right now, Aiden Ross, all in one group. You know, let me tell you all a story. You know, I had no money at all. And I was growing up in Luton on a council estate with a single mother with no money. I had all these dreams of what I'd do if I ever got rich. Andrew, if you make hundreds of millions of dollars, you're going to do this, you're going to do that. Turns out I go to Romanian jail and get woken up at three in the morning by Aiden Ross to come and talk to... A Kim Jong Un impersonator. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? I just don't understand what a, an amazing moment it is for for content creation and you know what it is for even you know so much attention seeking at one place you know and I just it's it's really unfortunate you know you got to do better kick you got to do better but I, I don't know I think I think at the end of the day kick doesn't want to mess with their bottom lines you know them being you know a Aiden Ross does bring a large viewership and they may also align with kind of his views and understanding that it, it was an impersonator it wasn't somebody that's real and they're kind of okay with that if it's in the sense of comedy i guess i just don't i don't, I don't really would necessarily myself if you're asking me agree with something like that but 
you know, everybody's to each their own. And I think that's pretty much what I wanted to get to. I kind of want to know you guys' thoughts in the comments down below. What do you think about this entire event? Did you tune in? Did you tune out immediately? Did you think King Jong-un was actually going to be there? Like, there is no way, right? There's no way. I believe that there's, sm there's smarter audiences out there, right? But of course, for a lot of impressionable kids, I would imagine that somebody would think that he was actually going to show up. But with all that being said, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the sub button. You guys have a great day. Peace.